As citizens of the developing world aspire to Western standards of living, the strain on Earth's finite resources will increase. Gasoline is still the most energy-dense fuel for the personal mobility, and there are increasing global concerns about sustainability. In the United States, the automobile industry and the oil industry have largely limited the pump to gasoline and diesel and they blend up to 10% ethanol in the gasoline. But those are your two limitations. You have no options at the pump. And if you had an option of fuel choice, for example, methanol, ethanol, gasoline, diesel, compressed natural gas, LNG, liquefied natural gas, you'd have a, a variety of sources at the pump but there is no pump choice. Two significant factors will drive the transition to lower carbon fuel sources in the future. Climate change policies and the abundant supply of inexpensive natural gas. The recently signed Paris Climate Accord along with other policies and initiatives such as the World Bank's zero routine flaring by 2030 are driving the demand for low carbon technologies and low carbon fuels globally. These and other emission policies, coupled with the massive increase in low-cost shale gas supply from which cleaner burning, low-carbon fuels such as methanol can be produced, will drive the transition from transitional gas and diesel to low-carbon fuels like methanol. Methanol can be produced from multiple different sources, unlike gasoline. Typically, gasoline is a product of fossil fuels from crude oil. In the case of methanol, we can produce methanol from natural gas, which is much more commonly found as a biological source. So in the case of microorganisms, we produce biogas, biomethane. Also from microorganisms can be another source of, of natural gas, which can then be converted to methanol. So methanol itself is also a cleaner, simpler molecule compared to gasoline. There's many more uses for methanol in terms of building up those molecules than there are for gasoline as purely an automotive fuel. Methanol is used directly as a fuel or fuel additive in the number of significant markets. However, methanol is also important and it can be converted into methanol to gasoline or MGT process. This is a competing technology to the traditional FT Fischer Trope synthesis approach for making diesel fuel at naphtha. FT synthesis was developed during World War II in order to satisfy the demand for fuel with the abundant coal supply. At the time, the decision to use coal and other fossil fuels to make diesel fuel seemed like viable options, but later research and further advancements in the fuel industry have demonstrated the theory to be unsustainable, uneconomical, and difficult to scale down to smaller plants. So, why is the world still using this process? We believe because the MGT process via methanol has not been adequately developed until recently. MGT holds the future as a clean alternative to gasoline, and more recent research by Gas Techno has shown significant developments in methanol to diesel fuel, or MGT process. The commercialization of MTG and MTD will be game changers in the world of clean alternative transportation fuels. Well, the transition from one fuel to another for a country is never a simple process. It's oftentimes dominated by many factors, say environmental, geopolitical, purely economic. So it's hard to say how easy that transition would be, but it comes back to, again, fuel supply and the cost of that fuel. If you look at the uh, potential for methanol automobiles that could be placed in countries like India, Places in Africa, uh, China has switched over to generally a methanol economy for fuel because gasoline is made from crude oil and they don't produce a lot of crude oil. So they end up having to import significant amount of crude oil. And if you are importing your raw materials and you cannot make that raw material in the local country, then it becomes non-sustainable. So you have one source, crude, to make gasoline, and methanol, you have three or four sources. We can either blend methanol directly into existing fuel or convert it into pure gasoline. Countries with access to coal or waste organics, but not oil, can use coal, seam gas, or municipal solid waste 
to produce methanol and then MGT to supplement supply of gasoline. Now that we know methanol is more versatile and perpetual than crude oil-based gasoline, the next step is implementation. The role of gas tackling transitioning from a crude oil-based economy to a methanol economy is providing that low-cost methanol. One of the major difficulties in getting from point A to point B is being able to provide the fuel for that transition. Gas Techno has developed a technology called our methanol in a box, mini GTL in a box uh, process, and we can enhance a transition from a gasoline or a diesel economy to a methanol economy by installing these modular small scale plants at point source. And so if you've got gas flares or you've got biomass that you want to convert to biogas or biomethane and convert that into methanol, we can help you with the transition to a methanol economy. For more information about Gas Techno and their methanol in a box distribution hubs, please contact Walter Brenstein at the following email.